what you got what you got up what you got up under this like <gasps> you just snatched it off on camera like I showed it and don't give a fuck and don't Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Easy here. How are you guys doing today? What do you do? What is popping? What's up? <laughs> today I'm gonna be doing a sleek bun tutorial on a 4C hair. So if you have a 4C hair, you definitely know the struggle. You know the struggle of getting your hair slicked down. But don't worry, I got you back. I got you back. And also, if this is your first time on my channel, welcome more if you want to see more content like this you might as well subscribe turn on notification bell also leave a like leave a comment you know all the usual stuff i would really appreciate that let's get right into the video so you want to be doing this hairstyle on a stretched out hair i've had my hair in cornrows for the past two days so i washed my hair and i put them in cornrows they should be pretty stretched out by now. I'm trying to stay away from using heat on my hair, so this is another alternative to use in stretching your hair. I'm done taking down the cornrows. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my hair with water. Guys, you never want to style a dry hair. Always make sure your hair is wet when styling. Guys, I can't tell you how painful it was combing my hair. It was so dry. I think it's because I didn't deep condition when I washed it. I only used regular conditioner. I think I was like deep conditioning my hair every time I wash it. But the things that I don't know what the side effect of too much deep conditioning is like is that even a thing i don't know you guys should tell me how often you deep condition your hair in the comments okay now that i'm done combing my hair i'm going to go ahead and section my hair into a side part for the pattern i don't like it too much to the side because my hair is not long enough if it's too much to the side it's not gonna slick down properly so you want to first cut in a straight line before you start adding any curves if you want to add a curve to your side part i personally like a little curve to it later all right now that i'm done side parting my hair and my hands are killing me i went on to section my hair into three different sections it doesn't have to be perfect it's easier to work in smaller sections that way you're able to slip the hair down more all right now that i'm done sectioning my hair i'm going to start with the section at the back again you want to wet your hair or you want to wet it as little as possible if not it's gonna take time to dry then after wetting that section I go ahead and apply my leave-in conditioner and I comb my hair thoroughly making sure there are not knots or tangles in it then I apply my eco styler gel then I pack that section with my hair rubber and move on to the next one which I'm going to do exactly the same thing on As you do each section, you want to be adding it to the already packed section and repacking it again. Then I go in with my hairbrush making sure it is slicked down properly. As I'm about to do the last section, I'm going to divide it into two more sections. Honestly, with this hairstyle, you want to be working in the littlest sections possible. I'm not saying you should go strand by strand. No, that's not what I'm saying. But the smaller the section, the easier it's going to be for you to slick it down. If 
for this last section here yeah, this is where you want to pack on the gel pack on the living conditioner because this is going to be the hardest to sleep down So for the final packing, you just want to be really patient, so repacking, repacking, brushing, adding more gel until you get that slickness that you want. You get what I'm saying? And also you want to make the final packing really tight. If you have to pack your brain together with your hair, you do it because the final look is gonna be worth it babe. So after I feel like the packing is tight enough and I've packed all the hair I can into the bun, guys my hair is not long enough so I know that some of the hair is not going to get to the bun, I apply some more eco styler gel all over. So here I'm trying to do my edges but they are not just cooperating. I'm sure you're probably thinking what edges is she trying to do? Don't worry my edges are there in the spirits. Don't worry about it sweetheart. Don't worry about it sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. So guys, after a while, I just gave up and said, you know what? It ain't working today. So now I'm just gonna tie my scarf and allow the hair to dry. So whilst the hair is drying, I start to make the bond with my braiding hair. And by the way, this braiding hair has been used before. I used it to do some cornrows, so I just washed it and I'm using it again. So making the bond is pretty easy. I just attach a band to it and braid it like I normally would braid my hair. When braiding the hair, you want the braiding to be loose so it shouldn't be too tight. So it looks more natural if you get what I mean. Then I go ahead to braid my puff also. And after that, I'll just wait for the hair to dry. Okay, now the hair is dry. Honestly guys, I lost track of time. It's been about an hour, but I'm sure the hair was probably dry long before that. So now I'm just gonna attach the bun to my hair. When you're attaching the bun, you wanna make sure you tuck your own hair into the braiding hair so it's not visible. So that's it guys, this is how you achieve a side part slick bun on your natural hair. Now I'm just gonna accessorize, that is totally optional but I'm just saying sis, if you add a little this and that here and there, it's just gonna give your hair that extra, that extra wow. -woo. And that is the end of the video, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in my next video, bye!